How's it going everybody? I'm Jason with The Review Suite. In this video, we're looking at the Argon One M.2. The original Argon One was my favorite Raspberry Pi 4 case. This new M.2 version is my new favorite. The new Argon One M.2 looks very similar to the original Argon One, but with a few added features. For this video, I'm going to assemble the case and talk about why you want to pick this up for your Raspberry Pi 4. The Argon One M.2 is designed to make your Raspberry Pi a more desktop-like computer. Argon 40 has done this by including a custom PCB that changes the orientation of your I.O. on the Raspberry Pi. And as the name implies, it now supports M.2 SSDs. The bottom of the case is a M.2 SATA SSD to USB 3.0 board. This board supports B key and B plus M keys ranging from 2230 to 2280 M.2s. This M.2 board will give you a lot of options as far as turning your Raspberry Pi 4 into a dedicated desktop computer or a entertainment device. The Argon One M.2 also comes with a video slash audio PCB extender. This PCB reorients your video and audio to the back of the case. It also converts your micro HDMI to two full HDMI ports. The IO PCB is one of the standout features of all Argon One cases. Along with the custom PCB, the Argon One supports active and passive cooling. The top of the case is made of all aluminum, and on the inside you'll find a programmable 30 millimeter fan. And right behind the fan, you have color-coded GPIO pins. Assembling this case is pretty easy. The first thing you wanna do is connect the custom PCB to your Raspberry Pi. Next, you wanna apply the silicon thermal pads to the contact points on the top of the case. Next, you wanna connect the Raspberry Pi to the cooling board inside of the case. This case comes with eight screws, so you want to use the shorter flathead screws to fasten the Raspberry Pi and HDMI board assembly to the top of the case. Now before you attach the bottom, you of course have to install your M.2 drive and insert your SD card. Once the bottom is attached, you will not have access to your SD card slot. All right, everything is connected and we got the bottom plate secured. So the last thing we need to do is connect the USB 3 bridge. The USB 3 bridge connects the M.2 drive to the Raspberry Pi 4, so you will lose a USB 3 port. But of course you can connect a USB 3 hub for more USB ports. Looking at this case fully assembled, I gotta tell you, it just looks awesome. I love the fact that you have two full-size HDMI ports now and the layout just looks super clean. So let's get this booted up into Raspberry Pi OS and I'll show you how to install the fan script. The fan script for the Argon One M.2 is the same script used in the original Argon One. So you wanna open up terminal and you wanna enter the script that's on screen now. All of the scripts for this case will be in the description box. After the script is installed, you'll want to reboot the system. If you want, you can run Raspberry Pi OS from your micro SD card and use your M.2 slot as mass storage. Alternatively, you can run Berry Boot and install multiple operating systems between your SD card and your M.2 drive. Here I'm running Berry Boot and I'm going to install Ubuntu onto the M.2 drive. So once the installation is complete, I can have two different Linux-based operating systems on one device. 
So I'm really liking the new Argon One M.2 case. We still get active and passive cooling. We now have a functioning IR receiver and the full size HDMI ports on the custom PCB is the icing on the cake. If you just purchased a Raspberry Pi 4 and you're looking for a case, I can highly recommend the Argon One M.2. At $45, I think it's fairly priced and you won't have to spend additional money on micro HDMI to full size HDMI cables. If you have the original Argon One case, you're in luck because you can purchase the M.2 board separately. The M.2 board retails for 21 US dollars and it has everything you need to get started with booting from your M.2 drive. But that's gonna do it for this video. Big thanks to Argon40 for sending us this case to review. We greatly appreciate it. If you found this video helpful or informative, please let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to see more Raspberry Pi 4 content, subscribe to the review suite. I'm Jason, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one.